Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great and you wanna know why? Well, I just got this in the mail from one of my sponsors. How about we check out what's inside? First, we gotta get inside. So let's just open this bad boy up here. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> of course, I didn't cut it enough. Okay, so we got some cardboard here, and we got the sail slip. Okay, so what else have we got in here? Uh, first thing I see are these F-Stop Adventure Photography Gear Gatekeeper Straps. So these are actually really helpful. I use these quite a bit actually when I'm traveling on the train and things like that, and you can use these to strap your light stands to poles or secure things on your bag. So uh, I have a couple, but I'm glad I got more. These are nice. Looks like the buckle's a little bit more robust than the one I have. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, this is much nicer than the ones I already have. That's a cool little bonus to get with this. I didn't know this was coming, so cool. Yeah, you know, let's open it up. Check out what we got. So uh, yeah, I should mention the brand here is F-Stop. This is my, my bag sponsor. Technically, I am a global icon for F-Stop. Uh, they've been giving me bags for a couple years now. And, um, you know, I love working with them and that. Uh, I shouldn't mention, though, just out of transparency, I'm not getting paid to do this video. Uh, I saw a cool bag that they had developed. I asked for it and they sent it to me. They don't even know I'm doing this video. Uh, I just thought I'd, uh, you know, pull this out, check it out with everyone and see what we got. So uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> Get rid of this too. Whee! <laughs> so, first look at the bag. Um, let me see. Well, the color. Geez, nice kind of like a charcoal gray here. Feeling the bag. The, uh, the fabric that they use as feels really nice and strong. It looks like it's really kind of a waterproof uh, material they're using. I'm not sure if it is or not. You'll have to check the details on the website, but uh, looks pretty nice and robust here for sure. Just noticing these, uh, we have these weather sealed uh, zippers here, the zipper area here. So again, probably really good for, for in the weather when you're out shooting in a rainy day. And here in Japan, the, uh, the rainy season is gonna come soon. So this is perfect timing for me for this. Have a nice little, uh, oh, we got a nice little buckle here. Let's take that off. Feels kind of metallic. I'm not sure if it's metal or what, but uh, that's cool. And, you know, I really like these roll down designs on bags because it uh, really keeps the water out from getting in the, in the top of the bag. And I just kind of like the design here. It's kind of uh, something I never really had when I was younger. So this is cool. I really like this. And you can also really extend the bag here this much if you really need to. No, don't think I'd ever really do need to do that with this bag, but you know, it's nice to be able to do that. Let's see, I think we have, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so that's magnet little uh, connectors here to close the bag. You can hear it, I think maybe. Yeah, there's little connectors here. So this is nice, it's nice and convenient. I can just rip this open. I don't have to worry about finding buttons and stuff because uh, my big dumb fingers, you know, I always uh, have trouble with buttons and small things like that. So that's what we have here. So that's pretty cool. Oh, so uh, yeah, it looks like there's something inside here. So what's this? Sweet. Little F-stop pouch that we have inside that came with this. I don't know if I'm just special and got this or if it's something that comes with the bag, so. I'll have to check that on the website too, but yeah, sweet. Nice little open bag here that we can uh, put memory cards and things like that. I could use it as a travel bag. When I travel, I could have like my contacts and my toothpaste and toothbrush and all that in here. Uh, or just, you know, a whole bunch of cables. I use a lot of, uh, you know, we got a lot of chargers and cables and things like that that we always carry around. So it'd be nice to have something like this. This is great. This is awesome. Yeah, sweet. Nice little bonus that came with the bag. It's, uh, Sweet, that's cool. I'm happy we got that. Um, yeah, now, you know, this is a camera bag in essence. It's a camera bag. It doesn't look like one, which is awesome. I love the design of this, how it does not look like a camera bag. But let's check out the ICU, is what we call it, the, uh, the little compartment in the bag and see what that's like. So I think with this bag, we have a zipper here and we have a zipper here as well. So we have them access on both sides. So that should mean that we have an ICU with two sides to it. So let's gonna look at this side just first. 
Sure, yeah, so check that out. We, uh, you can see the inside there. It's a smaller ICU, it only takes up about half of the bag. But, uh, you know, it should be enough for what I would use this camera bag for. Um, yeah, nice and simple. You know, I can fit a body and a couple lenses in here, which we'll try in a second. Let's just close this side up and let's check out the other side. Probably the same. Open these up. Man, these zippers are really nice. I love the weather sealing on these. Okay, this is a little different now. So this is something I haven't seen on the F-Stop ICUs before. It's this little mesh cover that we have on here now. So I'm going to try to pull this out. It's quite strong. But cool, yeah, it's just a little mesh cover with a zipper on it. So now if I want to put small things in that one compartment and I can actually cover it with this and secure them in there. So that's really cool. I've had uh, problems with my ICU in the past with things flying around while I'm uh, mobile on jobs and stuff like that. So this will stop that for sure. That's really cool. I'm glad we got that. We actually got, uh, we got two of them here. So that's cool. You can uh, really, you know, use these in any one of the spots you want, I think. But uh, yeah, that's nice. That's really cool. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we can fit in those in a second. So let's just keep looking here. What do we got? Okay, we got another, another zipper here. A lot of zippers on this thing. We have a little front pouch here now. Um, I don't know if you can see very well in there. But we have like a little bit of compartmentalized. A couple little thin pouches and things. I could put my passport or, uh, you know, I think this will fit my iPad. We'll check that in a second. Uh, yeah, it's just nice couple, two compartments here and it's all, this is zipped up as well on the inside. So it can be nice and secure in there. Uh, that's great, you know, okay. Close this as well. Flip it around a bit more, see what else I can find. Oh, we got a, we got another zipper on the back here as well. So let's open this up. Now this seems like it's a, uh, yeah, this is much larger. So this actually takes up the entire back of the bag. I don't know if, how much I can pull this up here. Um, but I think this would probably fit my, uh, my laptop if I needed to. A bit of a larger laptop will fit in here, no problem. And there's quite a good cushion on the back here uh, to keep it safe in there as well. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. These little holes on the back here, these little indents you can see. Yeah, there's a little indents here, which would be great to keep this off the flat of my back and get some air in here so it's not too sweaty. Everything seems really quite strong. These straps are great. I love the black on them. Nice little silver accessories. I'm not sure what you would call those. This is really cool too. There's a little handle on the top here now. Um, in Japan, whenever I get on and off a train, I always want to make sure I'm carrying my bag in my hand. Um, and I don't want to be carrying, say, the straps if I can help it because it's a little awkward. But to have this on here, it's really nice and handy. That's really sweet. Cool. So yeah, in general, you know, this is a great little bag. I'm sure I will be using this, you know, more on shoots where it's a, a fun shoot where I only need a few specific lenses, maybe my primes and my one body. Um, and, uh, and I'm out in the street, like in Tokyo or whatever, and I want to be kind of fashionable. Like, you know, this is, the only thing I can tell you that this is a camera bag is the F-Stop logo here on the front. Um, otherwise, you know, it's just a really kick-ass, Pretty cool bag, wicked for weather. Um, it's all weather sealed. And yeah, so that's, I'm pretty happy with this so far, but um, let's let's see what we can actually fit in this now. And, uh, and then I'll give my final decision. So yeah. Okay, so now in front of me, I have basically what I would want to take out with me, but I would normally use this size of a bag with just a few primes and my main body. So um, let's see how they fit in this bag. So yeah, you know, D5, Nikon D5. It's been my workhorse camera for a long time since it came out. Um, it's huge, it's a big, big camera. So if this fits in here, I'm pretty much sure anything on the market that you would normally be using would fit in here. So let's go. You know, it's, it's snug, <laughs> it's snug, but it's a perfect fit. I would actually rather have it here like this snug in there than rolling around and being super open in my bag. So this is perfect for my D5. So I think anything you could put in here will fit. The 105, uh, 1.4 Nikon uh, Prime. And let's just pop it in here again. 
perfect fit. I got the, the little divider in here. You can customize these, what you need. It just happens to be the perfect fit for what I'm throwing in there right now. My 51.4 Nikon lens. Yeah, that fits great. I have a strap that I like to use a lot. The CSLR, I think. Yeah, I've been using this for years now. Thanks, CSLR. You know, stick this in this little dead space here between my lens. So that's basically what I'm gonna get on this side. Let's uh, flip it over. Open this up. So now I have one more lens that I would like to take. It's 24 mil 1.4. So that'll go right in there perfectly. And then yeah, what else do I want to put in here? Well, I have a, you know, a charger. So I'll stick that in one of the ones with the mesh top on it. Maybe my uh, memory card, XQD. Um, yeah, I've got some, uh, you know, my Skull Candy wireless headphones. Take these everywhere with me, I love them. Wow, geez, I can just keep putting things in here. So I'll close this up for now. Geez, I could actually fit a couple other things in here. Uh, controller, I don't know, that might, <laughs> it fits pretty well actually. So we'll just, yeah. I... You know, um, I game a lot. I'm a gamer, I'm a big dork. So I always uh, take my iPad and my controller with me. So speaking of iPad, I think I will try to slide that into here. Now I have the iPad Pro with the keyboard. So that's a bit of thickness to it. So if I can get this in here, no problem then. And it's the biggest one they sell. So if you have a smaller one, you're good to go. And yeah, it looks like it fits. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, we did. That fit perfectly. Um, yeah, what else can I get in here? So, uh, like I said, the ICU is really only up to about here, I think. So, um, let's open this up. And these days, I often take my GoPro with me whenever I go out shooting. So, I think this will just slide into here perfectly, like, like it was made to go in here. Yeah, awesome. That'll fit. <laughs> uh, let's toss this in here as well. Why not? That'll fit and it all closes up nicely. I can get a lot of stuff in here. This is pretty amazing. Sweet, yeah, awesome. And you know, just for the fun of it, let's see if I can get my computer in here as well. My uh, seven-year-old MacBook Pro. It's uh, technically vintage now, apparently. <laughs> and yep, yeah, it will fit. Let's see, what do we got in here? We have a. Nikon D5, uh, 105, 1.4, Nikon, uh, 24, 1.4, 50 mm 1.4. And then I have a, some, a bunch of small accessories. I have a bag for my GoPro. I have another accessory bag. And I have an iPad Pro, the largest one they make. I have my MacBook Pro as well. Fairly, I think it's a 15 inch one. All that in this tiny little thing. Now, mind you, it is heavy in there right now. There's a lot of gear in here. Um, so you might not want to try to shove so much stuff in here just to maybe help with your back, but it does fit when needed. So uh, yeah, that's super cool. I can't wait to get out and shoot with this. Um, as soon as that's possible, I would love to go out and do a couple sessions with my friends. So uh, hopefully look forward to those videos. And uh, yeah, cheers, this is a sweet bag. Thank you very much, F-Stop. Thanks everyone for checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ask some questions if you want. I'm always down to communicate with everyone. I love sharing. And uh, yeah, if there's anything you want me to do in the future or any videos you want to see, let me know. Cheers.